Hi, I'm Jimmy Demir. I am nine years old and I am one of the Leeds Strainers Junior Trendsetters. I have had a chance to chat with my hero, Conrad Turrell. Let's see how I get on. Fire up the question when you're ready, my bro. Okay, so this is question number one. How old were you when you first started playing rugby? Um, how old? Yeah, I think, I think I was probably 12, 12 or 13, I think. Yeah, around that age. Mm. Yeah, but yeah. I think I started playing just mucking around at home when I was young with my brothers and them. So it wasn't really, wasn't really rugby, but just playing it in the, in the room and stuff like that. So yeah. yeah, it's been doing that for my whole life. So yeah. Uh, number two, if you had to give advice to a child who plays rugby, what would it be? to a child to be honest right now if you're that young i think my advice is just to enjoy it while while you're, you're at this age enjoy it as much as you can with the, with the game um i don't really tell kids to try get into the tactic or professional part of it because i don't want them to had enough of it while they're still young i just want them to enjoy it um whatever comes with it um winning losing just enjoy the the little moments enjoy what you have with your with your little friends and stuff like that because you never know when you grow older um you're going to go in different pathways but for at that age i can just enjoy it enjoy what you want to do um yeah. if you want to play it just do it yeah okay uh, number three what would you eat whilst training for a match eat um the night before the game i i pretty much carb up i eat a little carbs i do anyways but pretty much the night before the game i go a bit a bit more but um do uh, on, the, on the match day i don't really eat much because uh it's just different between players but um if we play at three i probably will eat at around 9 a.m i'll have breakfast whatever whatever my, my partner makes me or porridge or eggs or um, toast or avocado and stuff like that but then after that i'll probably will just have a banana or, or a parade or a smoothie or something really like just before the game so yeah, but if it's like a night game, seven thirty, I'll eat in the morning and then eat at lunch again. Um, not not too heavy, so yeah. Uh, number four, what what was your first rugby memory? Um, first, um, there was there was a lot of of memories to be honest, but uh, the first one I guess is this was back in Tonga when we won our first fifteen um it was it was a really tough game and it, and yeah I, I scored in the in the last two minutes to to win the game so i think that's my first proper memories of of playing so yeah, yeah. number five um why do you always scale into sorry why do oh you... <laughs> <laughs> um i don't know i i always go into oh not always but sometimes i go into training a bit early and Linda's always there because um, she always look after us, the boys, make sure everything is clean before we get in, get into the the changing room. And I think, not not I think like sometimes she's there with the with the um the guy that looked after the place just then too, and it's really early. So I kind of just like try give her a bit of fright and a bit of happiness, like bef the, just before the day is. And I guess it's more funnier for myself and us than to her me scaring her but it's just like a a, a little and like it's kind of like a what you call it like a relationship with with her like just um having fun in the in the in this because the, the training ground we're always are proud of ourselves having like family not just us players but with the staffs as well so yeah just building oh. a little connection there so yeah oh what's your best prank on someone best prank um i don't know uh i guess we'll be on my mom or my sister uh sometimes they they're, they're pretty big as well like just a fatty like me and sometimes they just fall asleep and i always go um slap their stomach and it's like a water bed uh so i always go and and try to wake them up while they're asleep or play with their lips or something like that so yeah okay um number six who was your role model when you were younger and why yeah i, I had a i had a few to be honest um I think, I guess you kind of not really say it's a role model, but it's my parents. 
my parents have always been there for for us. Uh, we didn't have much at home, to be honest, but they work hard for us kids, and we always there's I have I have um four brothers and uh yeah three brothers and and two sisters, um and I'm the baby, and they, we have, we grew up in a big family, but they always provide for us. So it's just a little things like I knew we didn't have much, but we were always always have food on the table, um, always have the uh, a roof on top of us so um i guess it was them but and and my and my oldest brother as well so yeah yeah um so number seven how, how did you become interested in rugby league um rugby league it was it was i've i've told the story it was pretty uh funny story um i was never into to rugby league to be honest uh i was i was more of a union guy uh, i I played rugby union until I was 18, my whole life. Um, and then I got a scholarship to go to New Zealand. So I, I did rugby union there for two years for uh, Auckland Grammar School. But then after the, the scholarship, I had nothing. I was meant to go back home. And then the the, the chance, the opportunity came up. Uh, it's But it was for rugby league. One of my best friends that I was in high school, his name is Omar, uh, played union with me, but then wanted to go play rugby league and had a career of it. So he just like, oh, I'll give it a go. I might stay in New Zealand if I play. So I was just like, oh, yeah, might as well. So I just went in and, and trial for rugby league. I've never played it before. And, um, yeah, and got in. And now I love the game, to be honest. And it gave, it gave me a future. And um, I got a, a kid like me, dream come true. So, and then I just became in love with the game. So, yeah. Yeah. Um. Number eight. What is a typical day of a what is a typical day of a professional rugby player? Uh typical day. Um are you talking about a training day or just a, a, a normal day? Normal day. Oh, okay, a normal day. Uh for myself I if if it's a if it's a day off I I, I like to sleep in. Uh pretty much sleep in and then uh wake up uh do do whatever I need to do at home. Pretty much relax in the morning, and and sometimes we go for a walk, sometimes not. So, but I love my coffee, so I usually go out go out for coffee or breakfast with my with my partner, and 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 always go out for coffee, come home, relax, and if it's a nice day here in Leeds, I will go out outdoor and do something. But if not, I just pretty much just chill at home. But if it's a training day, uh we pretty much had to wake up early around seven or something like that to go into training. Uh, probably go there at seven, train, have a little lunch break, train again, and then probably finish around three. But after that, a uh, few, few of the boys, or oh, most of the boys oh, always get together after training, go for a little coffee, go hang out out of footy, and then when I come back home, uh, sometimes I help my partner cook cook the meal sometimes I don't I just sit there and wait to eat but then I clean dishes after and then just relax after as well watch Netflix and, and then just chill out so yeah yeah um, number nine do you spend time with your teammates and if you do which teammate do you most like to spend time with yeah we, we all do Um, there, there's, there's not really like a, a one person that I'll hang out with the most but there's there's a lot of boys. We, we every every time we always hang out together in in groups and and stuff like that. But uh, lately it was just hanging out with um, Ava, Reese, and a few few of the other boys as well. Just because their their partners are, are are close together as well. So and we leave Reese is like two minutes away from me. Ava's five minutes away from me. So it's it's kind of handy because. We we work from overseas and we don't really have much families here, but they they are our families and even the the, the boys here, we always catch up. Uh, like I said before, after training we go and have coffee, we go watch movies, we go do stuff. So yeah, it's been it, it's that's not really a person that I hang out with the most. So uh, when I when I moved here, dog looked looked after me pretty good because uh, I was here by myself. So I was pretty much on his pocket for. A whole three months before my partner came over. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> um, number ten. What tips would you give someone young like me to succeed to be the best rugby player? Yeah. Um, a tip. You got. To be honest, you got to work hard. 
um you really got to work hard and if if you have a goal you got to stick by it and just work hard for it to be honest it's, it's working hard and enjoying it it's the same thing and that's one thing i always tell people as well is uh never to be never too happy with what you have or what you've learned always have room to learn new stuff every day don't ever think you're you're too good to learn new things so um i reckon that's that's the three things i'll say enjoy work hard and always willing to learn so yeah yeah, yeah that, that was my questions and um, thank you for answering it no worries no worries mate um, i appreciate your the, the the question and i hope i hope you get something from it and um yeah, I hope I'll, I'll see you in a, in a, in a Ryan's jersey in the future, yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Jimmy. Have a good one.